IKEA is releasing its own version of its hacking kits. Now, you may remember other websites uh, that were threatened to be shut down but reinstated due to uh, and screaming. Outrage. Outrage. Community uh, backlash. There's There are websites out there that uh, help people hack their IKEA furniture to be something else. So maybe a bookcase could be a bed frame or a table could be a chair. Uh, but IKEA is trying to get aboard that themselves with this, the, an official hacking kit for God. the popular stool Frosta, which can <laughs> be turned into a chair. Maybe that's not a stool. That could be a table. Where'd ours go? There was one in here just a couple minutes ago. Oh, uh, yeah. We had one. And this is an idea that IKEA is putting out. Uh, it has not been implemented yet. So basically what they're doing is they're putting out these kits to be able to, I guess, uh, capitalize on this idea of I IKEA hacking. First off, I want to say I disagree of using the word hack in this way. This is not what hacking is, changing the way a, a chair is used. Yeah. Secondly, <laughs> is it really hacking if you have the full permission of the company Absolutely doing not. it? No, this is all wrong. This is all like using a cool term to sell your shit. Yeah, I mean, this is just somebody in the IKEA marketing department saying like, well, uh, a lot of people, they like, like to fuck with our mom table. And um, well, I guess it's probably time. I don't know why they, they sound like they're from uh, the Midwest. Uh, but they probably sound Swedish. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm really not going to do a Swedish <laughs> accent. Uh, but yeah, and they said like, hey, let's let's find a way that we can capitalize on this. But that defeats the entire purpose of what I mean. I know hacking annoying, but let's just use it for the sake of the sure, conversation. Sure, fine. In, in, we'll just in, use you know, the word, even though I disagree with it in here. all ways. Um, and and you know, it's like the the thing that's so annoying is that. The whole beauty of this is someone who is not IKEA taking something that, well, let's be honest, looks like it belongs in a uh, fraternity house it, kitchen. It's cheap. That, yeah, that it's that costs cheap and it it looks cheap. And let's let's put some new spin on it. Let's put something uh, you know a little individualistic. Let's make something that like not only can I do, but that I can maybe share with other people who can do it and make it special. I, mean, I agree and because then you, we all have this, you know, we all have a we, cheap table. We, we all, all have something from IKEA. Absolutely. That was just we couldn't resist the price. Well, I think the thing is it's everybody, it's inevitable. Everybody, well, I don't know. A lot of people move on from IKEA at some point in their life. I have life. not yet. You know, I haven't either <laughs> completely. I've been trying. It it just rings so untrue to me. Yeah. So when we it reminds me of those commercials for Subway when they're like, "Try the new off-menu specials." These are this cheese sandwich that we invented and we tell you what it is. And that's on the menu. Right. Why are you trying to Doing utilize a, a this cool million dollar national subversion about word? It. it is not it is not uh, to apply to right. your essentially you're just rebranding what you're trying to market and, and And here we are <gasps> complaining about it, but it's like they know exactly what they're doing. Yeah. They are not they are not in any way like, oh, this will be funny, like nobody's gonna get this. Like they know. They know. Um, another thing that IKEA has, uh, they've, they've noticed the trends of what people do with their furniture. Um, it, there's the IKEA swap program, no. which seems to be sort of what, you know, the Craigslist of IKEA. So a lot of people, you know, they'll be like this bookcase, they'll list the name, IKEA blah blah on, on Craigslist and sell it or trade it or what have you. Uh, IKEA's idea is that they would sell special swap items that you would be able to return to the store for some, some fee or what have you. Um, and it would be like a second-hand store, but not really. It's a huge corporation. No, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think the beauty of, of the IKEA thrifter is that, I mean, at some point in your life, you, you, we've all been there. It's like, I just can't afford to spend $39 on a coffee table. So I um, found my coffee table uh, on the side of the road. <laughs> there you go. So it's like, well, um, I guess I'll just go on Craigslist. And, and it allows you to even like further feel like you are getting a good deal and mm -hmm. to take that away from us is quite frankly it's an, it's it's unpatriotic it's well, anti-american they're, they're not american well and i, and I think it shows <laughs> oh, damn <laughs> strong words uh what do you think audience of the so-called idea ikea hacking kits that could come out uh theoretically uh, or would you, you you're not feeling it let us know what you think about ikea hack ikea swap below in the non-ikea comments and please be sure to subscribe for more